So the topic of uh, uh, today is about the war. Uh, it's not fighting war, it's a war. W-A-L-L, -L, right, war. Um, I think from the, uh, from the, uni uh, from the, uh, from the, from the top, outside the, outside the earth, I think the only thing you can see man-made, I think, uh, is a uh, great war, right? Yeah, like a snake over there. And uh, that's also man-made. But th this I'm talking about the war is city war and also residential war. Okay. Yeah, this is the city war was uh, opened up at the beginning of the 19th, uh, 18th, uh, 20th century because the emperor decided to allow to modernize the city a little bit. So that's the train. Okay, yeah, Beijing is a national, national capital since Yuan Dynasty. Are you familiar with the Yuan? Mongols. Yeah, the Mongols came down and, uh, and they decided to set up the national, national, uh, national capital in, in Beijing. You know why? They are Beijing full of water. It's not true now, but full of water and, and also, uh, also uh, the landscape is uh, nice and, and, the, and the mountains around it. And the most important thing is easy for Mongols to escape if they need to run away. They can go back to Mongols. <laughs> they are Mongolian, right? Yeah. So uh, that's the time uh, from uh, from 13th century all the way to 14th century. Not long Yuan Dynasty. Uh, so they started started to build construct this capital uh, in 1271, and then Ming Dynasty, and then Ming Dynasty actually uh, the, the starting point they started capital in Nanjing. Are you familiar with Nanjing? Beijing, Nanjing. Nanjing in the south, south of the <laughs> south of the Yangtze River. So, because n northern part Ming actually is overthrew the Yuan Dynasty. So they started from south, and then they find out Beijing is a nice place to be the capital. You know why? Because China, the, the territory became larger. So in the south, you cannot control the northerners. Northerners usually tougher and stronger, muscle, <laughs> militant. The the southerners cannot beat them. So then they moved the capital to north. So the Ming also uh, moved the capital to Beijing uh, for, you know, oops. Oh, can I move back, huh? <laughs> Sorry. OK. And then Republic period. Republic period, uh, uh, the, the naturalists overthrew the Qing Dynasty. That was uh, 1912. And, uh, and uh, then moved the capital from the north to Nanjing. So usually we say that whenever they moved the national capital to Nanjing, that's the bad luck. So they didn't last long. Um, and Beijing, finally, uh, the, the, the communists took over, uh, took over the power, and they decided to set up the capital in Beijing. So that's, that's the um, brief history before. The cityscape, that was in the Qing Dynasty. That's uh, uh, 16th century or 17th century. Look, look at this. What do you feel? It's a pretty flat. And, uh, and also, this is uh, in, in, the, in, the, in the 1930s, also flat. You can see uh, Beijing. Now, in, in, in any sense, it's not a big city. Cannot call it a big city in that time. OK. And during the time, during the year, I think the, the capital started expanding from small to big. Um, you can see uh, Liaojing and Yuan, Yuan Dynasty. Yuan Dynasty is called the big capital, uh, like this. And 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 then uh, the Qing Dynasty, Qing Dynasty, Ming Dynasty is right here, and the Qing expanded even more. N you know, you know, Qing Dynasty means Manchu, Manchu from the northeast part of China. They took over the whole power, 
and uh, and uh, wipe the, uh, the the people. Usually, people. Uh, I think you call Chinese. What? How do you call Chinese? Chinese or Han Yu. Han Yu. Why is called Han? Because the ethnic group, the majority of Chinese, they are belong to Han. So, so the Han people, they are not allowed to stay in in the city. This is called in the city, and this is called a, this is called a, a forbidden city. This for for emperor, and and all the all the people in Beijing, they they have to live outer outer city. This is the outer city. This is the inner city. Okay. A bit clearer about the about the uh, inner city and the outer city. So that means. They become like, like war, city war like this. This is only for Manchus, for those the no, noble families. And then for Han people, they have to stay in this outer city for merchants, vendors, and, 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 and those who, who want to participate in those uh, uh, civil uh, uh, examination tests. And the inside in the city, there is an imperial city. That's the imperial city. And the, this is a forbidden city. How many of you went to Beijing? Have been to Beijing? Quite a few. Have you been to Forbidden City? Yeah, yeah. Very crowded, right? <laughs> not like this. At that time, not not too many people. I think on the street only only donkeys, camels, <laughs> horses, and and the nobles. <laughs> yeah, in, especially in this area. Okay. Okay. This is uh, in the in the ninety ninety uh, in the. Uh, in the early 19th, 20th century, you can see the U.S. Uh, U.S. flag. Yeah, that's kind of military uh, compound. Uh, that's uh, at the beginning of uh, of 20th century. And you can see the whole thing: no high rises, no high high rises, no factory, no chimney. Okay, that's for 1924. Okay, I want to introduce uh, this uh, famous guy, uh, Li uh, Liang Sichen, and, and, and also his wife. Uh, both of them graduated from uh, uh, UPenn, so UPenn is not far from here. Uh, architect, famous architect. He became a kind of a, a major player in terms of uh, modern, modern city planning, uh, especially in Beijing. Okay. Um, when the communists took over the power in, in Beijing, in Beijing, and in 1949, and the, and the, and the, and the, then bef I, I think in January the army moved in, and the, and the, the nationalist army surrendered right away, and kind of, kind of peacefully, uh, so-called liberated the, the city. So n no war, no fight. So I think the city uh, remained intact. In, yeah, and the, and the, and the, and the, in January when the, when the communists took over power, but the, in in May. The uh, city planning committee, including Liang, the architect Liang, and also uh, the group. There's a Soviet uh, experts, and also uh, those experts from from uh, from uh, domestic, like Liang, and uh, and also Liang, represent, educated, trained by the U.S. and also trained by the by France, in in the, the, the also architect. And two groups, uh, uh, two groups of uh, uh, the experts, and plus the the government representative. So three groups they, they talk about how to how to um, plan to build a new capital, okay. And actually, they, from 1949 all the way to 1953, almost four years, um, they cannot get agreement, no no consensus. Mainly there are three questions, uh, three three items they cannot get the, um, everybody agree upon. This the first one is. Uh, well to locate the central government. And the Liang suggested, like the Japanese, Japanese took over Beijing before, during the war. But Japanese uh, didn't put the, the military headquarters inside the city. I think two reasons. One reason they don't want to um, destroy the forbidden city. Otherwise, we will hurt the feeling further, right, the, 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 the local, locals. But uh, on the other hand, for their own safety reason, so they moved the headquarters to the west of the city, the build of Build up the the the, uh, the headquarters, military headquarters. So so that's why uh, Liang Sichen suggested the new government should not be put inside because he really valued the the, the, the Asian city, such a beautiful city, especially the city war. He thought the city war is 
is kind of world treasure. It's not only national treasure. We have to keep that. And, uh, and uh, we all know, um, probably US is ex ex exceptional. All the other old countries in the Europe have the castle, castle-like, <coughs> um, and the city wall. Um, so then, uh, uh, I, I think I went to uh, Alabama. There's a, a, it's called a mobile city. Have you been there? Mobile? Yeah, there was a, there's a faucet, I mean, look like a wall, solid wall. I think that's a very Spanish style, I think, in, 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 in that place. And then that's the first, first important thing. Do you think the Mao will allow this? Central government should not be built or located inside the city. Why? Uh, Why? <laughs> They don't want to make a, make a, make a, make a, make a central government outside the city, right? They want to ride the city, okay. Um, second thing is about the city wall. And the, and the, and the uh, Leon really uh, think city wall should be saved, should be preserved for a you know, long term. Because if you, if you demolish it, you cannot rebuild it. So that's, that's another, another thing. Because a group of people thought this is a, this is a kind of an um, obstacle for modernization, obstacle for traffic, obstacle for people. Okay. The third one is the size. Beijing only about a million people. You know how many people there are now? Million? <laughs> huh? 30. 30. 30. Yeah, almost 30, almost 30 million. I mean, including those um, migrants floating, we call it floating population. Now people call it floating population. They they stay here for a couple of years and move out and move in. Uh, it's a floating. So it's not permanent. Okay. So these three questions cannot cannot reach kind of agreement. Uh, for first of first of all, I think the um, um, the government, like you said, the government really like to make sure the the capital city. They want to locate the the central government. As a as a symbol of power, they have to stay right in the middle of the of the of the city. Even more, even suggested, um, um, say, why why about wh how, why we cannot move this move the central government to the forbidden city? Although he didn't say in a, in a small group, and the, of course that will need a strong strong rejection, because the new government is supposed to be people's government, right? People's workers, peasants' government. So you, you want to be emperor. But still, so they really don't understand Mao. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I try to look at the other, other cities. You, know, you can see, uh, Par this is Par Paris. How many people went to Paris? Yeah, familiar? <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you can see, that's from the Eiffel Tower. You can see this is green, and then this is the old city, old Paris. This is new Paris. Their parents also fit ideology at that time, 18th century, 17th century. Yeah, because the, the centralized the power. So you can see like a, like a, like a sun and, and a, like this, street like this. Yeah. See. So that's, w that's what Liang Sichuan suggested. Beijing city should be, should be remain, the old city should be remain, all remain over there and the build up new city, right, right near, near, near to, the, uh, to the capital. Okay. That's Rome. Rome, I think, is a uh, mixed old and new. You can see that's from uh, uh, Vatican. And you can see that's the really old. You can see the old and the new. This is London. London is also like a mix, like a, pretty much like a Rome. Yeah. During the night, you walk on the street, you'll, you will suddenly surprise and there's an old, old church or cemetery. You know, this is the old castle. Have you been there, right? This is London. Okay, yeah, I cannot provide accurate what <coughs> be old Beijing looks like. I have to use on this movie. <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah, oh, I, everything disappeared. And uh, this, this kind of a lot of ministries uh, of the imperial government. And uh, now all these uh, Hutong alleys and, uh, and uh, most of them uh, disappear because they built a Tiananmen Square, right? The Tiananmen Square right here and all the city walls disappear during the year. And, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, now you cannot see this. 
because you can see the, the wall is supposed to protect the city, right? Yeah, you can see wall after the wall. You can see this is city wall, this is the moat, and, 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 and this is another. When you get in this, and, and people can, can shoot you right, right inside. You cannot <laughs> get through. And, and the wall is very, very thick. And especially during the Qing Dynasty, they really enhance the wall, become thicker and the taller, and it's making it more difficult to climb it. OK. Yeah, that's the all side of inner city. You can see the poverty, you know. Oops. Yeah, can I go back? You can, you can see the only movie. You can only only uh, the the scene. You can see all the all the uh, pretty pretty uh, nicely built the houses, but here you can see very poor, all side the all side the inner city wall. Uh, this is 1956. Even down to 1956, you can see the wall disappeared, but only only those gates still there, and as a as a sentimental piece. But sooner or later, that will be removed. So the uh, city of Beijing, I think, when you go there, I don't know. How you, many of you went to Beijing. I don't know what kind of impression. But you went to Beijing probably in the <coughs> within within these ten years, right? After the Olympic. The Beijing totally totally new, so you can see the Beijing. So what's the what's the impression of Beijing? Many people say war, lots of war. You you can see the public uh, public transportation is uh, is pretty convenient, but on the other hand, you can see the there's nothing here. You have to walk all the way from this end to the other end, especially the summertime, very dry, very 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 hot. People, you know, it's very difficult to to to, to walk, and people have to. Ride the bike, you see. And and also this is this is the, this is the forbidden city. You can see there's a wall, and also e even inside, even inside. Now that's outside. Even inside the last wall. That's the um, during the during the. You can see once you see once you see emperor, you have you have to go through lots of uh, procedures to to go get to to see the emperor. That's the emperor's place. That's inside of the Forbidden City. Still war and after war. You went to Forbidden City, probably you didn't see much treasures. The only thing you, you see is the war, the alley, alley, you don't know who will behind the war, right? And, the, and you know the emperor has a uh, hundred, hundred of the concubines, right? They all lived in the, in the, behind the door, behind the wall. So you don't know the, who is this quarter, who is that quarter. OK. So Leon's idea about the war, he created kind of a utopian idea. He thought we can keep the city war and then convert that to serve people, to serve the, uh, serve the uh, residents, and, the, and the make it uh, uh, recreational rather than defend, defending the city. Because we don't need to defend the city. You know, that, that's, that's his drawing. The ring park should be fun, but we, we, we <laughs> Unfortunately, the war disappeared. Uh, right, now you can see the people. They started actually, ironically, uh, Mao organized the city planning committee. Right, they commissioned to do the, to submit the proposal how to uh, to to construct the, the city. But at the same time, Mao agreed to take take away to, to start it demolishing the war. Why did he decide it? Because. He thought the war is supposed to protect the emperor, the old emperor. So we are the new government. We are we are representing the workers' peasants. So we should remove all those barriers between the the government and the people. That's the idea, right? And also, this is during the mass construction in 1950s. They really want to make a big, big square, and also they want to uh, compete with uh, Soviet. The Red Square, they was a much larger than Red Square, and 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 and, and, and also they want to compete with the previous uh, um, the imperial governments. They want to you know, make the best material, and all the all the all the structure, all the all the buildings should last long, at least three hundred years. That's the order from the government. Why three hundred years? The Qing Dynasty lasted about that that time. They say at least we should stay here for 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 this time of year. 
And also, this is the inside of uh, Forbidden City. And uh, uh, this kind of interesting project, I, I think, uh, um, uh, I think sponsored by uh, Hong Kong and also by US, try to rebuild something which was burned by the Unix <laughs> uh, uh, um, during the 1920s. Because they, they tried to steal all those treasures from the, from the, you know, uh, from the emperor's uh, storage. So, uh, but then they find out, find out, they, they will find out. So uh, they try to, uh, to, to cover it up. So the best way is to burn them. So they burn. So now they want to reconstruct this. Okay, Mao's idea to move the central government top, set, top leaders to the Forbidden City was failed. He, he dared not to really put on the, on the table to discuss with the, with the subjects. But on the other hand, he did move the central government to the imperial garden, that's called the Zhongnanhai, the mid southern sea, in, in, uh, right in the city. It used to be the emperor's backyard garden on the, on the, on the, on the west side of the Forbidden City. And also, you can see that's, that's the Zhongnanhai, that's the gate. So you think it's very, very close to the people? <laughs> well, it's hard to get in. And, and also, the, there's what we call the, the hidden, hidden, hidden wall. You know, that's kind of block your vision. You know, if you go to Japan, have you been to Japan? Yeah, if you go to Japan Palace, uh, Japan, or, I mean, the lack of uh, the space, so they make everything like a maze. So this is not maze, but they, they, they purposely block your vision to see through. So I think Nixon went through like this. You have to make a turn, <laughs> make a, I think probably that way, get, uh, this way, to get into the, to the, to the uh, Zhongnanhai. Okay. At the same time, the, the old war was demolished, but new war established. Because at that, in the 1950s, um, the government needed lots of people at all different levels. And also lots of veteran revolutionaries, they need new assignments. They need to retire from the army and, and working for the government. So then, um, so then they, they have to organize all those um, ministries. So every ministry, they, they, they will have their own, we call the compound. In Chinese, da yuan, big yard. <coughs> big yard is probably not, not a good, 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 good term. Yeah, it's kind of military, military da yuan, yeah. yeah. So residential compound. So you can see that you can see it's a war, and 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 divide them from the locals. Locals, I mean, they live in Putong, a small a small uh, basic alley. We saw that just like a couple hundred years ago, it's a flat, and they have the war uh, military compound, military compound, and all, all all the ministry compound in 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 Beijing. So every every compound they. They divide. They go to the uh, city planning, uh, city planning uh, committee. They ask for, oh, I need uh, how many acres, and you need how many acres. They divide that, uh, give to to them, and they they started the building. And then, the thing is, the uh, in in those, uh, you can see that's a new one. I think. Uh, this is kind of military. One is. Oops, and I go back. Okay, sorry. Yeah, but you can see when is when was the when is the uh, naval naval uh, uh, compound and the, and the air force compound and also the the, the, the all kind of different different army kinds they, they have the compound. So people live inside, and and all the all the, all the families live inside, and uh, they work inside, they eat inside, and they have a special store. They provide some privilege for for them. You can buy things. Like especially those 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 uh, uh, commodities is hard to get outside. Not like now you can buy bike, but at that time bike is very hard stuff. You have to uh, have a ration ticket to be able to buy one. Okay. So that's the common people live. That's Hutong. You can see how narrow it is, but still you feel war, right? If you you walk through like a war, war, and and the window is so small. Windows so small, and and also they put the laundry. They don't have space to put laundry outside. You can see, 
that, that's the ordinary, uh, we call the hutong. Hutong, the name came from uh, uh, Mongols when they, they decided to call it hutong. Okay, bikes. <laughs> but now I think they have a problem with the cars because, <coughs> because, uh, because Beijing got lots of cars, automobile. Yeah, okay. Oh, cool, cool, cool. So you can see the two kinds of people, two kinds of things, people. One thing is in, in the, in the well-built uh, compound, uh, belong to the um, power, belong to the government, belong to the authority. But on the other hand, the common people, they still live in the very basic you can see very narrow, narrow. I think for uh, how many, uh, all the way to 1980s, I think 30 years, there's no change. I, I, think, uh, I think you are lucky to see the, the, the new building after, uh, uh, after, I think after Olympic, right? 2008, yeah. So, okay, back to Tiananmen. Why they decide to build up Tiananmen? For celebration, right? Basic for celebration. It's kind of <coughs> million people there. And, and also, that's the uh, Tiananmen uh, balcony. And the, 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 the national leaders were, were standing up top. Uh, celebrate two occasions. One is October 1st. That's the national day. And also the Labor Day. Labor Day is not in the September. Chinese Labor Day is uh, the first day of May. So the top leader will, uh, will, will, will will be at the top of it and, and the to, uh, to review the army, review all kinds of people. And the people probably, you know, every time like, uh, like 100 people were standing waiting and you have to go walk all the way through the Tiananmen, okay. And one time, that's kind of interesting, inter I want to mention, uh, I think in 1951 or 52, and when Mao stood on top of the balcony and, uh, and he, he asked the, the mayor of the city and talked with him. He said, well, we're supposed to be workers, peasants, <laughs> farmers uh, country, right? But uh, unfortunately, I didn't see any chimneys. No chimneys. How can we say working <coughs> class? So I, I think the city, we have to, um, I would like to see more chimneys. At that time, only, only, <laughs> only 100 chimneys in the whole city. And uh, in the 1980s, 1980s, and uh, you know how many? 8,000. <laughs> Eight on chimneys produce lots of uh, dirty things <laughs> to the air, so that's the pollution you you have to <laughs> you have to breathe right to get to Beijing, and uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, and, uh, and so the, the, when the government said that and they, they started building lots of lots of lots of things, so it's a very busy following the policy, and then uh, in the in the in the in the 2008 before that time move out of the factories, we get rid of those. Uh, Chimneys because they pr created the pollution. We cannot get the um, the, the privilege to hold uh, Olympic game, right? We have to make the make sure the city is clean, and uh, uh, so that that's 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 the the, the thing about the, about the uh, industrialization, and also at that time Mao said Beijing should be the center, not center of political center, but also economic center and the industrial center. Everything should be the center. So it's like the, the center of the everything. So they, they, they move around, people around. Even the, even the restaurant, they want to be the best res restaurant. They, 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 f they, they move a couple restaurants from Canton, you know. Canton's restaurant's pretty good, right? South, like, you know, near Hong Kong style. And also Shanghai is another, another style. And, and, uh, and they move all the, and the Sichuan, right? Hunan, uh, the spicy food. They move all the <coughs> famous restaurants and, uh, and uh, to Beijing. So, so once you make Beijing really kind of a national center, you can enjoy food from everywhere <coughs> of China, uh, uh, from every corner of the country. At the, same, at the same time, also back to Tiananmen Square. Tiananmen Square is very ironic because the government wants to build the Tiananmen, wants to hold a uh, huge kind of a parade uh, to celebrate, basically for celebration. And uh, especially in the 1950s, we do not have any kind of a records about the people's reaction to have their houses kind of demolished. Probably nobody can say any no, and, and just demolished, and then move people out. I don't know where they moved, but now they have a lot of complaints, right? To the Olympic, they moved, demolished Hutong, and a lot, we can see, we can, we can hear lots <coughs> of complaints. 
Okay. I guess Tiananmen Square definitely is, uh, is, is a center, <laughs> is a symbol. When you talk about Beijing, Beijing is uh, kind of replacement for represent China. Beijing equals China almost. And Beijing, what's the symbol in, in Beijing? That Tiananmen. Tiananmen is the center of the center. So it's a very symbolic <coughs> space. It's a public space. You can see how many people. But unfortunately, this is not for celebration of the country because it's a protest. Protest against the Cultural Revolution, protest against the Mao's policy. So that's, that happened in 1976 uh, in, in April. OK. This is uh, after Mao, Mao passed away, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and the whole, whole, whole thing became a little bit liberated. And uh, Deng Xiaoping was uh, rising to the top power. And at that time, he, uh, I think he, ap he approved this. It's called democracy uh, war. So that means people can still, they got a bigger character poster. You, you, can, you, can, you can post something to complain. Yeah, this is a complaint about, uh, about, 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 uh, about the Hua, Chairman Hua and the Chairman, Chairman Li, and about the uh, about the arrests, which was not fair. So you can see when Mao passed away, and 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 the, and, the, and, the, and the, they want to reverse lots of verdicts, and the, and the, and the allow people to to do this. And the lots of petitioners from all over, and the, and the, he just like uh, doing the dynasty. Uh, so, well to to do the petition. To the Forbidden City, Empress Place, right? And he went to Wumen. Wumen is Tiananmen, and behind Tiananmen is called Wumen. Uh, and then door is Wumen. In between, there's a there's a space, and 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 he definitely look at look at look at him. This is a very typical uh, pr uh, petitioner. You see, he got lots of uh, a mouse badge here. So what does that mean? More become a god. So I'm protected by Mao. I represent, uh, represent the kind of a justice. So I want to say things. You don't arrest me or don't take me away. So, and also he, he was so wondered. I know the, uh, the, 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 the cameraman. And he, he happened to see him in, the, in, in that. But he took the, pic he took the picture and uh, ran away. He really uh, afraid of uh, uh, paled by the uh, secret police or whatever. So finally, he can get, get out of them, and, and he printed out this out. And now I think uh, uh, it's uh, in display in the, na in, the, in the museum, in the National Museum. OK, that's famous, 1989, the student movement. That's the same, same, same cameraman. And he worked for the, for the National Museum. So that's, this is the. Uh, the kind of Congress Hall, but this is the Chinese called the People's Congress, Great Hall of, the, of People in there. So all the important, uh, important meetings should be held in, in that building. And this is the Tiananmen Square, right? And so many people, the young people were there. At the beginning, I think the last couple of months, they started in April and all the way to, to June. June 4th, I think Deng Xiaoping gave the order to uh, send the military tanks to the, to the uh, to the to the Tiananmen Square, that's the end of the movement. But you can see at that time, what do you feel? Students happy? Students very happy actually. Yeah, very happy. They want to protest. They want to finally got the freedom, freedom from their parents, freedom from their teachers, freedom from all the all the all the, all the exams, the finals, and they finally free. And so they they kind of accountable. So sometimes revolution could translate as a carnival. So people, people where they are and kind of celebrate uh, the freedom they got. Of course, very limited in the limited time. Okay. <coughs> this is another scene probably you missed. I think this uh, kind of interesting. I don't know if it's still open or <coughs> not. Uh, it's called the underground, underground city. Because during the Cultural Revolution, and more want to create kind of tension between, between, between people and the, and the, and the, and the, and the uh, and the, and the and the other Soviet, so they always warn the people the Soviet will attack Beijing sooner than later. So they build up an underground tunnel. 
So in the ground tunnel, actually everywhere in Beijing, but now become kind of subway system. How many uh, Beijing line, the subway line? I think more than 10 lines. At that time, only one, one line from, uh, from east to west. But now we have a more, than, more than 10 lines. So in the, I think you use this as a base. This is very interesting. It's very, very close to Tiananmen, very close to Tiananmen Square. And they, I don't know, they probably got a special permission. And I went there once I was recommended by another American friend. He said, OK, this is some place you need to go and to, to see. Because when during, the, during the time, all the people mobilized to dig those, uh, uh, build those tunnels, and they only know your block. I mean, you, you live in this block. You only know, you know what happened in your block. You don't really know the next block, the next, next block. So if you go there, you can see still part of the city. It's kind of interesting. Everything is connected. They have a storage room. They have a library. They have all kinds of uh, facilities inside. OK. Now on the war, I think it become uh, um, foreign students kind of uh, really enjoy riding a bike, circling the, the, the city. And also, also the war could be very creational, but not on the top like Liang, Liang, Liang would like to see on the uh, ring park, but you can see the people. So space are, are, is, is very tight, and uh, you know Beijing housing is very expensive. So no, no public space, so that's the public space. And the Tiananmen, uh, Tiananmen now is, uh, is uh, still forbidden. It's a forbidden, <laughs> forbidden uh, square. OK, see, that's the, uh, th this is close to the imperial city. OK. And that's the old scene in the, in the 1950s. This is a before Olympic, I think, 06. You, you can see they built kind of fake, <laughs> the, 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 the fake uh, the wall, and, and uh, pretend to be, to be antique. But this is new. This is a, used to be the, the really old city. You can see the flat, just like a country, country a small county city. Yeah, yeah that, that's the new Beijing. That's the Beijing you saw, right? And also, they think it's very hard to, to, to change the, the, uh, the architecture shapes, architecture. They really hire some very expensive architects to Beijing. So how Beijing became an experimental field, a lab for architects to build all kinds of strange shaped things. Because, uh, because you know, this is actually just a train station, the subway train station in Xidan. No, no, Xidan, uh, Xisi. This is a library, and this is an awkward thing. You can see they want to build this old style with Chinese characteristics. And the bit, but then the, this, this is the, uh, the city government of Beijing. And but then the mayor got, uh, was arrested. One, one thing is uh, he did offensive to make this. They called it with the, uh, with the new building with Chinese style hat. Like a, like a <laughs> like a, the, uh, the, the the baseball baseball cap, <laughs> but anyway. So I think the Chinese also believe that you know, how many how many days how many pillows you uh, pillows you have one two three four six how many in Tiananmen? I think eight or nine. So that's for emperor, but this is for smaller smaller scale. But still, kind of uh, you want to compete with Tiananmen, so that's the question, asking asking the the, the mail. Who authorized this? So, so that's that's during the 90s. <coughs> so then uh, they decided they decided to build something totally revolutionary new. I think that's uh, Jiang Zemin time. Uh, he hired those uh, very expensive architects from Europe to to build. This is a very Soviet. That's the so-called Congress Hall. I mean, pe the Great Hall for, of People, right? And uh, this is. Uh, this is a new kind of national national opera theater. So, well, back to that one. Uh, national theater is a shape like 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 a, like a half a ball, right? I think it's a very nice that's the shape, uh, but people think it's it's bad, really bad. Why it's bad? It looks like a Chinese graveyard. Chinese Chinese cemetery is not flat. It, it's like this shape, like a mantle. Have you tried mantle before? 
Yeah, th this shape. <laughs> and, and also, the famous Dongwan Market. Dongwan Market is on the east side of Tiananmen. It's a very famous uh, market. Um, but now they put it inside the wall. You see, everything's from outside. Outside, you lost kind of uh, the fun part to uh, go into the market. When you go into the market, you like to bargain with the vendors. You like to see all kinds of different things. And th this one, you cannot see everything. And also, th there's all kinds of uh, uh, worldwide kind of national and uh, the international uh, name brand things, like a coach, like a like all those uh, famous famous brands, um, like uh, yeah. Um, so the market is it, it lost its fun part because you go to market, you want to see the vendors face to face to 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 bargain, but now everything to the to the to the this is another Tianqiao um, department store. Actually, used to be Tianqiao's market, and also they even changed the name. It's called the silver and, and the gold. So the whole whole kind of uh, um, the uh, the value system changed from the revolution to the money oriented. So before it's a power oriented, but still power oriented. But on the other hand, it's, it's a money oriented. It's not like a, like a before the revolutionary kind of principle oriented. Okay, demolishing. You you missed that scene, and you went to Beijing. Probably you missed that the demolishing scene. You can see lots of hutongs just disappear every day, every hour. <coughs> you can see. And at the same time, it's commercialized Beijing, and uh, and this is uh, uh, from uh, uh, Hohai. They uh, really uh, renovated courtyard house, uh, and uh, become. Uh, so that, that's uh, the, 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 the wall you cannot see through. You call it a hidden wall. You know, you can, you, it, uh, to, to block your vision. When you go to the house, you cannot see what's inside. You have to make a turn. That's a happy family. They own bed and breakfast. And, they, and he was he's the youngest of the Qing uh, noble family. And, uh, and he was sent to the countryside and finally back. And, uh, and uh, all his... All, yeah, he looked a little bit different from Han people, right? She's Han. Do you see the difference? The shape? A bit longer, and Han is like this. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's their style. OK. Uh, so they, 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 they got a small, humble courtyard house, and they convert that to bed and breakfast, which is located in the, in the Bar Street, Hohai. Yeah, that's, that's a very popular, popular place for foreign tourists. Okay. Okay, that's the uh, gated community. So now the new compound is not belong to the uh, military or, or the uh, high-ranking officers, um, but uh, but now it's called the gated community, outside the city. So you can see you go inside. This is not policeman, just like a uh, security, and you have to say who you want to visit. You get permission, and uh, and uh, and also all those uh, million, more than million, I think now. Million U.S. dollar single houses looks like a. It's hard to say it's Beijing, right? Yeah. Yeah. So so I, I think it's a, it's a fancy single houses. They call it a Vancouver Village, Orange County. They call all <laughs> kind of <laughs> <laughs> names and build all those houses, <laughs> and 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 and, and who will stay there? You know, movie stars and the, and the, and the sports kind of uh, basketball stars. And uh, basketball in China is not that good, but anyway, <laughs> ping pong, probably ping pong, <laughs> and uh, TV stars. Um, okay. Okay. This is uh, this is kind of townhouse. I think townhouse the humble, a little bit more humble than the single houses. But actually, it's uh, comfortable enough. But now it's uh, it's also very expensive. So this is most expensive. It's right in downtown, in the Tiananmen Square, very close to Tiananmen Square. Those 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 buildings, those apartment buildings, cost lots of money. Yeah. So who stay there? Those kids, they grew up in compound before. Yeah, you know, because they, they belong to the um, privileged class, and then they they become rich first. So. Okay. Yeah, Beijing also attracted lots of people from outside the uh, provincial level. This is a kind of Zhejiang. Zhejiang is a province in the south, and they are very good at uh, pirating. 
new style of clothing. So, um, but the, uh, they really destroy one district of Beijing's uh, um, clothing kind of factory. They have to declare kind of bankrupt. So then the government decided to wipe them out. They, cannot, they are not allowed to stay in the building, so they have to move out. So they move out, and they, this is the, in the a certain part of the Beijing. So they build up their own compound. <laughs> it's called the um, uh, Zhejiang Village. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the, the kind of, this is kind of wholesale store. It's not, uh, and, uh, and, and uh, so you know, all those styles, you know, they, they, they look at those, uh, those jettos, you know, from, for, for, from outside and they, they imitate all those styles and make them very, very cheap. So people buy them. And also, they, 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 Zhejiang is close to the, to the ocean, probably like uh, Maryland. So they, they really like seafood, but the Beijing's shortage of seafood is more expensive. They ship the, ship the dry shrimp all the way from their hometown. So they become a kind of autonomous in the small district. It's kind of interesting. And they have their own school because their kids are not allowed to, to attend school. That's another problem for floating population. So they have to have this sweatshop. And they have their own kind of distributing kind of uh, uh, system. They, they, they ship all the other products to all over the country. So they are now to, 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 to sell in the city. So they have to sell this to other, other part of the country. And also, uh, Beijing became very international. And, and then this is a Korean town. Lots of Koreans uh, in, in Beijing. You can see uh, even, even those, no Chinese. Now this Chinese, this is not Korean. We don't in this, in this. Just like you go to Chinatown. You cannot, you cannot read the, the commodities. And also, they abandoned the factory. When Mao asked, asked them to build a lot of industry factories in Beijing, this is one of them. It's an electronic uh, factory. Uh, used to be numbered by, by num used to be named by number. So it, it's called Da Shan Zi and Qi Jiu Ba, 798. That's the factory name. So now it's a, 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 a Move, when things moved out and also uh, uh, bankrupted, so then they abandoned the house, they abandoned the, abandoned the, 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 the workshops and the houses, and, the, and the <laughs> they rented it to those artists. Artists thought this is very cool. So then they become kind of a artist, avant-garde artist kind of a colony. So become very, you know, you can lose shapes, yeah. I don't know if you know the word China, China, China. China means demolishing, demolishing, demolishing. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> and also this is one of the artists. He created lots of uh, things and uh, and convert the bigger room and, uh, and she built a second level for for her to to stay. And the first floor is for a kind of living room. You can see that's the he makes herself comfortable living there. And this is, this is uh, one of the artist's uh, work. I think it's uh, very uh, interesting. You can see all those ants representing farmers. And, and uh, that's the mouse chimney, right? That's the high rises. And all mixed together. In the back is a Tiananmen. That's a Tiananmen. And then this is a dinosaur. So you put all kinds of things together. It's kind of uh, interesting. On the other hand, that's a Beijing University, most famous one. Uh, school and look at the gong. Look at this. What what does that mean? War, right? The war even on the on the gong. So, you know, um, and uh, and uh, this is a famous Wang Fujing. That's the uh, Oli Olympic uh, sign, and uh, and uh, and they want to have a one word, one dream. Is that possible? One word, one dream. No. Even you and your brother or husband and wife may dream differently. <laughs> <laughs> How could the whole world dream one, one dream and one dream? Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Um, and also the souvenir commercialized. And, uh, and, uh, and also that's the Olympic side. I think you, you, you probably have been there, right? See those, uh, they call the uh, bird nest building. It's a fancy, that's, that's, the, that's the, I, I think like a graveyard, I mean the Peking Opera. National Opera Opera Theater, yeah. The shape is kind of very interesting, and uh, and uh, and this from inside, yeah. 
And that's, uh, that's, uh, that's famous uh, CCTV, that's a central, China central kind of a TV station. And uh, it's a very fancy the build, the architecture, the, the design, right? And we call it similar one the squad on the toilet. This is toilet, toilet bird. You see, that's the, that's the people make joke of this. Okay, Confucius. Confucius uh, was not really honored during the Mao's period. And during the Hu's period, they suddenly want to harmony. Hu want to, to the idea of, of the Confucian is harmony. So com, com, this is a huge statue, was put in Tiananmen Square, very near, close to Tiananmen Square. And you can see people pay some, uh, oh, OK, OK, yeah. What do you see? Suddenly, interesting, they put a tie on, the, on Confucius, and Confucius was locked inside the, inside the uh, National Museum, so in the world. OK, yeah, so I think uh, that's now, I think uh, the walls disappear, but invisible was still there. You can see all the other compound, new compounds, and the expensive compounds, and also oh, the. Hold on, hold on. Uh, hold on, and then a couple more words. Look at this, the, the ring world. Now, can the ring, number one, the first ring, second ring, you know. I, I think DC have one ring, right? Only one ring, but, but Beijing, I think, there are six rings. One after another, one after another. So that's kind of a figure, kind of a um, block, the pe block the city. You know, it's an it's a invisible wall, I think. It's, that's an invisible city wall still there, yeah. Okay, I don't know if it'll give you some kind of a, uh, idea about city. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Unfortunately, we are running out of time for question and answers, so I'm sure it's a lot more grateful for you. Uh, also, uh, uh, something like a Beijing needs a plan and zoning committee. Uh, and uh, please, please make sure to clear all the trash and, and, uh, and then uh